guys, welcome back to an all new exciting episode of Conflict. In this tech news episode, we'll be talking about Cosmo and Vector one more time. Now, I actually got a hold of Digital Dream Lab CEO Jacob and actually discussed exactly what holds the future for these two different robots. Now, I know you just want to go ahead and jump right into it, but before we kind of do, I did have a mention in terms of what Anki had in plan to begin with originally. Now, there's a total of 40 projects that Anki had planned out in the future. So literally, there's 40 different robots that we never knew about that actually existed. That is crazy! And this company intends on going ahead and expand on that and release them as time progresses. So it should be kind of exciting to see exactly what the future holds. Now on top of that, we had a lot of different updates and variations, including our good buddy Cosmo. Now this here is actually the Mark I version. And believe it or not, there are two different models beyond this that were already planned by Anki. So this here is actually an outdated version of Cosmo in which they had three different versions total. That is so cool. So another thing that they plan on including is augmented reality with Cosmo. Now this here is the next major update, allowing you to go ahead and interact with Cosmo on a physical basis. So you can go ahead and like feed it electrodes and stuff of that nature. So kind of an idea in terms of how that plays out. Now I don't know exactly how that's all going to form in terms of how you will interact, but we've seen this before with a variety of different other products, including the Iron Man robot from Ubitech that we previously reviewed, as well as as the Lego smart toy. Now the good folks over at Digital Dream Labs did say that they'll go ahead and share some of the information with us, so hopefully we'll see a photo or two in the future. Now besides that, Vector. Now Vector is actually going to be up on Kickstarter once again, and if you haven't already seen the Kickstarter campaign, Digital Dream Labs has sent out a message explaining exactly what they plan on doing with the robot, making it open source, and a variation of different ideas including more functionality, more different sensors, and stuff of that like that. So it should be kind of interesting to see exactly what the future holds for Vector. Now we also talked about Anki Overdrive, and I know I had a lot of people ask exactly what the future holds for that particular race set, but believe it or not, Anki had some different things in the future, including off-road or rally courses, as well as being able to control your car almost like an RC car too. So it's kind of exciting is exactly what this company holds for the Anki products. Now, what else do they explain? Well, of course, there's the two different uh, prototype robots that will be coming out and a variation of different functionalities that they plan on expanding. But right now, their main goal is to making sure that both of these robots will be functioning on a stable platform. And especially with Vector, you don't even need a streamer cloud service to operate the robot on its own. So with that being said, on to the next subject, CES 2020. That is right, CES has just embarked and it should be kind of exciting to see exactly what new robots are about. I'm particularly excited about the UB Tech Walker robot, as well as the Alpha Mini and a variety of other different robots, which we'll kind of see as time progresses. Now, with that being said, this here is the tech news for this week. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to hit subscribe, like, and of course, share with your friends for future videos as well. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.